Hello, my name is Michael Walk, and I'm going to explain my personal color management workflow. I believe the first step to any color management system is loading and calibrating the ICC profiles for all of your graphics hardware. This can be achieved with a computer screen by using a screen calibration hardware device and or color calibration software. You should also try to synchronize the color profiles across any other devices you may be using, such as your digital camera or digital video recorder, as well as your scanner or any other devices that are involved in your imaging workflow. If you are going to print, check to make sure that you have access to the correct ICC profiles for your target printer's inks and paper. This step will also help you determine your primary working color space. Now I'll show you how to set Photoshop CS4's default color spaces and how to calibrate the rest of the Adobe Creative Suite with these settings. In order to set the default color workspaces in Photoshop CS4, click the Edit menu and select Color Settings. This is where you can set the default ICC profiles to use for each of the supported color models. You can also set up color management policies, which I find useful for reminding me when I open an image with a different color profile. I am going to set my RGB workspace to the Adobe RGB profile because most of my imaging devices support this profile. The next step is to save your settings. And enter a description. This will synchronize Adobe Bridge and the rest of the Creative Suite 4 automatically with your custom settings. You can also manage your color settings for the entire Creative Suite through Bridge by clicking the Edit menu and selecting Creative Suite Color Settings. If you saved a custom color settings configuration file through Photoshop, you will see the name of it at the bottom of this list. However, you may find the color settings presets to work very well for your individual workflow. Now I'll show you how to create a color spectrum and test it with various ICC profiles. You could really use any image you'd like to test the proof setup, but I prefer to use a full color spectrum. To create a new spectrum gradient, click on the layer menu and select new fill layer and select Gradient. Select the Spectrum Gradient preset and push Enter on the keyboard. I'm going to set the angle to zero. Sometimes I like to create another gradient in order to view the shades. In order to preview this image with different ICC profiles, select the View menu. Under the Proof Setup menu, you will see the currently selected Proof Profile. To toggle the preview for this proof on or off, click Proof Colors. You can also try previewing some of the other proofs which might be helpful for previewing your final output.
new in Photoshop CS4 are these different types of color blindness profiles. This could be very useful for designing with the disabled in mind. Lastly, when going to output, make sure that you first save your image in a format which supports ICC profiles. Not every format supports ICC profiles. When going to print, it's best to have either Photoshop or your printer manage the colors. If you have the ICC profile for both your paper and inks that you will be printing with, select Photoshop Manages Colors. Remember to disable color management in your printer settings dialog box if you choose this setting. Alternatively, you could select printer manages colors instead. Hopefully this helps explain a little bit more about color management with Photoshop CS4. Thank you for watching.